everyone, it's Finnovation. Well, Halloween is coming up really soon. And as you guys know, I'm doing a pirate theme. So the obvious question is... The obvious question is, what can you do? It needs to be fast and it needs to be cheap. Well, we're going to build a guy with a pirate ship wheel on the roof. And uh, we're going to do this as a Halloween prop and it should be pretty cheap. Let's get right into it. All right, so the plan is we're going to have a wheel right above our jail. So the wheel's going to be kind of like up on the roof right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to build um, two pieces of wood going on either side of the roof. And then the wheel's going to be right on top. And I think it's going to look awesome. All right, so these are the materials you're going to need. First off, you're going to need a few pieces of wood. We got these from an old fence that we had. Um, and, you know, they're nothing special, just some wood because it doesn't actually need to support too much. Then we've got some thin PVC pipes. We're going to use these as the spindles for, like, the steering wheel. Then we've got some pipe insulators. Um, you can totally use pool noodles. You can just buy these at like Lowe's or whatever and they're a little bit cheaper. And then we're going to be using a hula hoop as the actual like base for the wheel so, you know, we don't have to build like a circle out of wood because that'd be kind of hard. Then we're just going to be using things like a drill, a hacksaw, a little bit of duct tape, hot glue to make everything work. Let's get right into it. All right, so now what we're going to do is before we actually get the guy up on the roof, we've got to build a little base so it's like a little V so we can put our ship on it. So to do that, we're just going to cut two boards to the same length. All right, so now how we built the base was what we did is first we got this template where we went up onto the roof and we just traced the angle so we could figure out, you know, what, how do we should build it. Then what we did is we took a protractor and we just measured the angle and we found out that it was 20 degrees and 20 degrees. So we knew that we would have to make a 40 degree cut on one board so that they could slide together like this. And this board here has a um, angled cut as you can probably see. Um, then all we've got to do is take this board and screw it into that one. And now we've got an angle that perfectly matches the roof. Yeah. All right, and now with this all together, it should be the perfect angle of my roof. And that looks pretty close to right. Of course, um, our saw didn't get a perfect cut through, but that's all right. Uh, we did have to use this under it while we were drilling it together because uh, otherwise it would just, you know, go flat. So Finn, why, do, why is it important that we get that angle right? Well, if the angle is wrong, so if it's too steep, then what happens is all the pressure goes here and here, and that then causes this part to split. Or, and if it's just completely flat, then of course it's just gonna fall off the roof and, well, that wouldn't be good. All right, now that the, this part is done and it fits onto the roof, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a base and put it on so like our steering wheel can be there. Now we've actually already done one. So as you can see, we cut kind of a V angle that all we did was we put one here and we traced it. So now it fits right up on there perfectly. So we're gonna do the same thing so we can kind of sandwich in our wheel that's gonna be right there. All right. So now that we've got these two pieces on, it should perfectly fit the roof. And as you can see, that angle's good. And these fit on really nice and flush. There's enough space in between there for the wheel. And again, all we did is we just threw some screws up on the bottom and uh, cut the angles. And now all we've got to do is do our wheel. All right, now this thing is really coming together. What we're gonna do now is build the wheel. As you can see, that's already starting to look good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hula hoop some pipe insulator and wrap around the outside. Then we're gonna take this chunk of wood that we got in the middle and some PVC pipe that's just gonna run all the way along it on every side that holds that uh, chunk of wood right in the middle. All right, now what we're gonna do is actually build the wheel. So the first thing we had to do is measure how far the hula hoop goes from each side. And we've gotta make sure that our pipes are long enough. So it is about 34 inches all the way across. And now our pipes, as you can see, are definitely long enough to go across. And we want to have um, eight different like spindles going around the thing. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna have to cut the pipes in half. And we're going to see the um, this drill holes in because we've already actually marked out where each of them are going to go. And then we're basically just gonna stick the pipe right into the hole. All right. So as you can see, it now has a bunch of holes drilled in it, and I've also got my pipe sticking out the top. Now what we want to do is when this in, is in the middle, we want it to be about two feet out because pirate wheels, they always have like a little bit of grip on the outside so you can really get some leverage. So it's going to go a little bit past. So that would be about two feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out measure two feet, and then we're going to get a hacksaw 
and just cut it. Ahoy mateys, as you can see, I've got my pink pyre wheel. And now what we did is, last time you probably saw it, it looked like a star, and we just put this hula hoop right on it, um, and we screwed the pipes in to make, to make sure that they hold and they don't come out. Um, also, we measured to make sure it's in the center. Now what we're gonna do is put it on this piece we made earlier, and take a dowel rod and just slide it through. So we drilled some holes to, um, actually I'm gonna need a hammer to do this, but we drilled some holes that should supposedly line up. And now, as you can see, we've got a pirate wheel that actually kind of works. Now all we've got to do it is cover it in some pipe insulator or pool noodle. All right, so as you guys can see, the ship wheel is done and covering it in the pool noodles and the duct tape, it looks really good. Um, and since it's gonna be on the roof, we don't have to make it super detailed. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we are going to use some paint and paint this like bottom bit black because we want the whole thing to be, you know, one color to make it look a little bit better. So I'm just gonna paint it right now. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now on the roof trying to get this thing up. And it does match up there. We also put a towel under it just to create some more friction and make sure it doesn't slide. Now what we're doing is we're using some fishing string to try and tie it down. So we've got a couple little bits um, and we're going from the front down. Also from the top up to the top of my roof, you can probably see that one right there that we're just about to tie down. Um, and once that's secured, it should be all good. All right, so now as you guys can see, it is up on the roof. Now what we're gonna do is put the skeleton on it. All right, so as you guys can see, we've now got a skeleton up there. And we tied him up just like we actually tied the wheel. And he's looking really great. So we got his one hand on the one part of the wheel and his other hand on the other. And uh, he's kind of, you know, steering up the ship. And I, I think it looks awesome. And the coolest part about this skeleton is his eyes actually turn on. So that looks so awesome. Now that we are coming close to the end of the video, I want to say a thank you to everyone who has helped me and given me things for this project, and also to come stop by and see it on Halloween. Well, it's all done, and I love sailing the seas with this thing. Seas, Finn, that reminds me of a joke. Oh, boy. Why does it take so long for the pirates to learn their alphabet? I don't know. Why? They spend years at sea. Oh, that was horrible. Whatever, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. But they sure do love that letter R.